Hi everybody, welcome to video number two. Uh, it's my second company since I restarted my YouTube channel, so called restarted uh, putting out videos. So this is Tremor International Limited. This will be a bit different from my first one where I talk about digital turbine. This is a video where I tell you why did I sell. So as you can see, this is the first screen that I showed you in my first video that I had t uh, this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight vested company, but Tremor is I. But I have since sold out Tremor since the last video, right? Reason being, these are the reasons, right? They have lower revenue. They have a super high stock based compensation, and and with insider selling, a very bad Q and A in their last earnings call transcript. Uh, there is one catalyst, but it seems to be one time. No news on news corp collaboration and I don't know the way I, when I read their transcript it seems to like have they read my article on Seeking Alpha <laughs> that was interesting so anyway uh, let's go go back to the screen and let's take a look at what I have here so um, so I did read I did wrote about uh, Tremble International in, in April 19 uh, and I wrote about their mid the, they are great because they have end-to-end -end solutions, but um, and and they they tend to without the middle people they they actually tend to earn more right. Then this is converted to to their uh, in their revenue and is converted to their net profit, gross profit and net profit. Right, this is great and, and EBITDA is high. That's why they have a lot of cash and they use this cash to buy back right. And and there's actually two two uh macro environment. There's two two things coming out like midterm elections and World Cup. This seems so good, right? This company seems so good, right? Great cash flow, uh, big, uh, significant uh, mode in the sense of its competitive advantage. And they have two midterm elections which has just passed, and the World Cup that's coming up. You know this will drive advertising insane, right? And they're big in CTV. So what's wrong with this company? Why did I sell it, right? So in the let me show you their late recent okay they are recent q3 financials uh one of the reason revenue is falling in this uh q okay so that's one of the main reason and uh that has caused their in fact they made losses this quarter and that has caused their profit to fall significantly right so uh, so what, right? So so let's look at uh, one of the share based payment, right? So they have so if with a lower revenue, right? But you still have a significantly high share based payment, right? share based compensation. Why, right? Share based compensation to me it seems like uh, when you combine a buyback and share based compensation, it seems like I give I don't want to directly give uh, my directors and my insider uh, bonuses high too high bonuses. That will affect my net. Uh, that will affect my net profit. So I give them share based compensation where they can execute, and I can use the company to do buyback. Right. That is like a a great idea, right? By the by the shareholder. But that is what caught me. I I see this through last year, but when their share based compensation was they're having so much cash, right? And their last year their share based compensation was at forty two million. Yeah, that seems big. But they do have a lot of cash to overcome it. So I thought that was one off. But when I look this year, it's only in the third quarter and this already 42 million. And you look last year when the full year is 42 million. And they are earning lower revenue, lower net profit, and they still have 42 million. And if you look through um, this this uh, this CEO, right, he has been selling this offer. He has been selling. Yes, it's 10B5, right? I understand this plant. But it seems to me he has taken the share based compensation he understood there will be buyback he used the buyback and the buyback is eventually sort of like returned back to the to him because he's selling so that's why i see he has been selling let's see this uh yeah the buyback is about uh twenty four thousand. that that i think there's much more below but okay twenty five thousand. but he has been selling uh then again he buy back again company buy back then he continues to sell you know this is my uh, sorry continues so you see my point here right that's why i am very frustrated with this 
but I still feel they have a chance. So and in fact, my 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 thesis of World Cup hasn't started yet. So I thought they could do it, but this caught me by surprise. Man. So when when their latest transcript, right, Laura Martin said that you know if I strip out El Omobi, which is uh, their new acquisition, right, they have what is organic growth because it seems like although they are making losses now, they are going. Uh, they have eighteen percent growth in the next quarter. So why, right? This will definitely be the new acquisition. That's what she's asking. But Sangi Niri, Niri is is just saying, oh, uh, we we are not looking at solo basis. We are looking at group. We are looking at group. It's they are not. He's not answering the question, right? So Laura continues. So you are saying all oh, the growth in Q four is because of MLB you are projecting. So I mean, Ofo came in and say uh, that's not like strictly forward. But yes, we are not seeing huge organic growth on a solar basis. Uh, but yes, we are not giving like like two companies consulting thing in one, so it's not like there's nothing organic. This is so wrong, right? This means that their organic growth is slowing down. Which let me go back to my slide, right? So I've sort of like explained there's a lower revenue, there's super high base compensation, and, and the CEO is selling this bad Q and A, no organic growth. Like like what's happening, right? This bad Q and A really caught me by surprise, right? and they they do have this. Interesting, uh, interesting uh, collaboration that's upcoming. I mean, I I give it to them. It's the FIFA Plus. Let me find them. Find it. Match by FIFA Plus. FIFA. Okay, so so they have this uh, collaboration with FIFA Plus app and stuff like that. And this seems like oh, it is great, right? During this workout, this will earn them a lot of money. But but uh, let me say. This seems what happened with FIFA Ender, right? Like uh, this seems to be a one-time collaboration, and, and it's not extensive. If you look at Digital Turbine, single tap is extensive. It's recurring. Uh, they have collaboration with various partner. Their their products are built with a extensive uh recurring kind of team to their revenue. But this is not. Uh, they focus. In fact, they focus so much on the FIFA Plus app, right? That makes me a bit sad. Right, and then they, they in fact they focus on MOB FIFA FIFA app plus app. That means this is one time MOB is like a new acquisition. So oh, where's their organic growth is like very very low, and and over time they also talk about midterm elections if I'm not wrong. In fact, yeah, so so they talk about midterm election three times, right? So I just want to so I just want to say that um. My article talks about midterm elections. Then after that, I saw the only transcript talk about midterm elections. I'm wondering, have they seen my Seeking Alpha article too, right? So, uh, having said that, uh, let's go down to one of the main issue that I had is that they have never ever talked about. Is this News Corp partnership will end potentially in January 23? They have never talked about it. It seems that like it's going down. If this ever goes down, they will lose. A huge SSP uh, contributor, and they do have things coming up with MOB as well as uh, uh, probably other SSP that's added on. Um, but with that, right, it seems to me uh, it is not looking good at the end of the day. The management idea seems to be acquisition to earn more revenue. And, and then stop there and then acquisition again right so that that is not very good to me in my opinion um, and the uh, and the cycle of uh, salt based compensation compared with insider selling and the buybacks it, it, if in fact let me let me go back to I'm uh, frustrated this is so frustrating uh, let me go back to the Q3 I'm so frustrated uh, the reason why is because you have to see this right um, they talk about the buyback they had uh, they talk about buybacks let me, let me look let me look apologies for for you so they they continue buyback okay a strong net cash position in this followed by acquisition and will be allow them to blah 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 yeah and the completion of 75 million share repurchase program right? So if you think about 75 million, last year they give up 42 million. So uh, it's lucky we had 170 million cash, so I'm very happy. But this year they only have a 20 million, so they, they renew it as uh, 
okay basically they are 20 million okay uh, uh buyback program uh, but i keep seeing offer here keep selling and selling and selling 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 it doesn't make sense to me right it just doesn't and they they this year they already have i showed you if it's 20 20 million they already have 42 42 million of of uh share based compensation and that cannot cover okay and finally one of the reason is that uh yeah i still have a friend on twitter who is who goes by this nick and we actually had a tweet i i know if you look at his his background he's an attack so he actually um has no has more knowledge about this right so so with as you say with recent micro numbers there's a reason to be that some of the bigger names in the space are now attracting better valuation once we we'll react accordingly and i asked him uh, but still holding i see that there's slow down a certain part of ctv and overall margin is getting thinner and tech so i'm strongly doubting the next quarter guidance so i mean he's in the space he knows more than me and he's selling he has sold up and with so many negativity around it that i already i have a tough time and knowing him uh yeah i also said i sold up so short video rather than 40 minutes this is why i sold tremor international um hopefully the next video will come next week and i'll give uh it will be more exciting okay thank you see you bye